Welcome to a spoiler-free early look at The Quest Tower, the latest wooden puzzle from Escape World. We have to thank for sending us a prototype preview copy of this puzzle and for being affiliates. You can find an affiliate link for the current Kickstarter in the show notes. So since it's been a bit since we've talked about one of Escape World's boxes, here's a reminder of who they are. They started as a physical escape room company in Germany and shifted to making wooden puzzles to survive the pandemic. We've reviewed a number of these in the past, including House of the Dragon, the Fort Knox, Bo Knox Box, the Quest Pyramid, and the Space Box. Find those reviews on YouTube and or the blog. Now, the Quest Tower is the latest wooden puzzle box from Escape Vault that's currently live right now on Kickstarter. Now, it has totally blown past its funding. I don't even know the percentage, two, 300% past. And this is the third wooden puzzle that Escape Vault has Kickstarted. So I know some people are a little leery of Kickstarter and, and, you know, buyer beware and everything, but I don't think there's any worry about backers getting what they pay for if you back this one. Now, before we go further, I need to make it clear that the copy of the Quest Tower Mo received is technically a prototype. Mm -hmm. As you can see in our Quest Tower unboxing video on YouTube, it didn't even show up in its own box. And we're not even sure if the retail packaging for this puzzle is complete yet. Now, due to being a prototype, it's possible something or even quite a few things on this puzzle may change by the time the Kickstarter is completed, shipped to backers, and later ends up in retail outlets around the world. Now, I will say, unlike at least one of their previous puzzles that did have some mistakes on the Kickstarter version that were fixed in later production. So when it, when people got their finished puzzle, it was fixed. There didn't appear to be any issues like that on this one. I have a feeling what I got to play with is what you're going to get to play with once it does ship. Now, this escape box is the largest, most detailed, and most difficult wooden puzzle that Escape World has created. It stands over six inches tall and has a bottom diameter of over five inches. Now, the secret space you're trying to unlock is about two inches square, though it's, it's actually hexagonal. Uh, large enough to put a small gift inside, but it wouldn't fit, say, like a gift card. The tower has a Mesopotamian theme and is inspired by the Tower of Babel. Note, inspired by is the key here. This wooden puzzle box is more of a fantastical interpretation of the famous tower with its own backstory, which you can read on the Kickstarter page, and which I'm sure will be included in the final puzzle in some way. Now, of all the puzzles Escape Vault has produced, this one has the most steps to complete. The designers listed as taking up to two hours complete, which is double the time of their existing puzzles, with a difficulty of five out of five, and I can't argue those numbers. Now, one thing that shocked me when Mo was sharing picks after he got it open was the amount of deconstruction and extra bits that came off this puzzle. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in, in this puzzle. I want to say this box. I guess the box. Now, just to highlight how complex this puzzle is. So I got the box. I unpackaged it live, uh, recorded that. We ended up putting that up. But a couple days later, I got an email from um, my, com my, my contact at Escape Vault who's like, in case you're having difficulty with the puzzle, here's a PDF to help you. This was 13 pages long, a 13 page step by step guide with two steps per page on how to get the Twest Tower open. Now, I didn't actually need it to get it open, but it did tell me how I should have solved some of the steps in the puzzle that I ended up getting through trial and error and touch and feel. Like all of the Escape Welt puzzles, while you can lockpick your way through at least some of the puzzles, there is a logical step-by-step -step way to solve the puzzle based on the information presented on the puzzle itself without having to rely on your sense of touch or undue force. Now, one thing I'm not sure I agree with on the Kickstarter page is that it's listed as a collaborative game for up to four players. And I don't know where they got that number from. Like, it just seems arbitrary. They're like, I don't know, most people like four-player games or most game groups are four players. Because the entire thing's just one puzzle and really only one person can work on it at a time. Well, yes, you're probably going to end up passing the puzzle back and forth between a few people or leaving it on a table and having people fiddle with it. And it's likely you're going to need more than one perspective to get the box open. For example, I would have never gotten my copy open without Deanna's help. But I can't see a reason for a four-player specific limitation. I found that a little odd. Now, another thing I noted was that the final prize, the Scroll of Wisdom, was cooler than some of the prizes you found at the center of other Escape Wealth boxes. <laughs> well, I guess the real question at this point is, should our listeners consider backing this, later uh, this latest Escape Wealth Kickstarter? So the most important thing that you need to know if you're considering backing this is the fact that, as we've already mentioned, this is not easy. This is a difficult puzzle. 
Now, I'm quite proud of myself for getting this one open in about the two-hour time limit. It was a bit over. But that was with the help from Deanna, who caught a cue part of the puzzle I completely and totally missed. In addition to this, I also got it open due to using trial and error and just fiddling to solve a couple parts of the puzzle. Had I not just fiddled around with things and, until they worked and things opened and things moved, I'm sure it would have taken me way longer. Like, I know this since once I did have it open, I tried to work things backwards. I tried to reverse engineer it and go, well, why did I have to put this in this position to this to open? And I never did figure out what's actually the second step of the puzzle. It wasn't until I got that PDF from the publisher that I mentioned that I learned just how you were supposed to solve that part of the box. So if I had went, no, I'm not going to fiddle with it. I'm going to logic this out. I think that would still be sealed in front of me and we probably wouldn't be reviewing this tonight. The other thing that's worth noting is that this isn't your first Escape Welt puzzle. At no. this point, you've already solved four of Escape Welt's other puzzles, which includes one that you had to build yourself, getting to see the inner workings and engineering that goes into these boxes. Yeah, I, I wouldn't call myself a wooden puzzle expert at this point, but I do have a good idea of the type of stuff that Escape Welt likes to put into their puzzles. And I got to see like the inner workings, what can slide, what shouldn't slide what should be manipulated, and where they like to hide information. I worry that this puzzle would be an exercise in frustration for anyone who has never tried to solve one of these wooden puzzles before. That's actually an important note, because the wood has a certain level of flex to it. I expect that if this were a puzzle made out of a firmer, more rigid material, there would be differences in what could or could not be achieved in a puzzle. True. Now, bearing that, fact that that someone new would probably be lost here i think if you're someone who loves 3d puzzles or if you know someone who loves them i think this is one of the finest out there it is by far the best looking puzzle that escape Bolt's produced so far and makes an awesome display piece and honestly it looks cool whether you've gotten it open yet or not well as we talked about in our other escape Welt box reviews where these boxes really shine is as gift boxes to give to others after you've mm -hmm. opened them up and put something cool inside now, in this case, it might even be worth picking it up just to do that, just to give it as a gift box. Well, it's not online yet. You can't get it. Escape Well will be publishing a quick open guide that will get you to the inner chamber quickly. That way you can toss something in there and pass the entire thing along as a gift without having to actually solve the puzzle yourself. And one final incentive for any of you on the fence, another nice touch Escape Well added to the Kickstarter is to be able to get their previous puzzle along with the Quest Tower at the same time, for quite a reduced price. You can even get every single one of their existing puzzles, along with this new one, for 199 euros, I guess. Now, personally, I really enjoyed playing around with the Quest Tower and was very impressed when I managed to get it open. Um, there are some really clever bits here, clever ways to interact with it that I've, I've never seen before. Um, and it required some out-of-the-box thinking and honestly, I, I was super impressed, and I can't wait till probably next year and see what Escape Welt cooks up next. Now, one final bit of promotion before we go. As affiliates of Escape Welt, they have provided us with a 10% off discount code that, while it won't work on the Kickstarter, can be used on any production uh, products in their web store. This discount stacks on any existing sales. Just enter bellhop, one word, B-E-L-L-H-O-P, when checking out. Now, as for the Kickstarter, we do have an affiliate link for that, too. And if you are considering backing, it would be awesome if you used our link to do so. That will be in the show notes. Now, I also invite you to check out my written preview of the Quest Tower over the blog at tabletopbellhop.com. I did get into a bit more detail there, and I share quite a few spoiler-free pictures of this great-looking puzzle. <laughs> 